it's been a week and I've been dying to know what happened with Mary and Joseph. And I haven't been able to sleep because I wanted to tell you the rest of the story. Ooh. The, the part this week is sometimes left out of the Christmas story. So I wanted to tell you this. Mary had some family. Uh-huh. A cousin named Elizabeth. Oh. And Elizabeth was married to Zachariah. Mm -hmm. Well, Zachariah was chosen to burn incense in the temple. Okay. So he goes in to burn incense and the people outside were worshiping and praying to God while he was burning the incense. Mm -hmm. Well, while he was burning the incense, an angel appeared to him on the right side of the altar. Oh my. And the angel said, Don't be afraid, Zachariah. Your prayer's been heard. We'll have a baby. You're to name him John. He will be a joy to you. Many will be so happy because of his birth. But how can I be sure of this? I'm an old man and my wife is old too. I am Gabriel. I stand before God. I've been sent to you to give you this good news. Now you will be silent. You will be not able to speak till the day your baby is born because you do not believe me. This baby is going to prepare the way for Jesus. He is going to pre prepare God's people. And so, Zechariah comes out of the temple, right? Mm -hmm. And people knew he had seen a vision because he couldn't speak and he was trying to sign and he just couldn't speak, right? Oh my. Well, so a few months go by, Mary decides she wants to go visit Elizabeth, her right? Cousin. Her cousin, right. She wants to tell her the news that she's going to have the baby. Ooh. So she goes to Elizabeth's house and when she gets there, she says, Elizabeth, it's me, your cousin Mary. I'm having a baby. Mary, you have found favor with God and the child within me leaped for joy at the sound of your voice. But who am I that I should get a visit? from the mother of my Lord. Isn't that a great story? That's amazing. Isn't that what a wonderful. miracle? They both have miracle babies. Yes, miracle babies, John the Baptist. But then what happened? Oh, that's next week. Oh, man. Yep, that's next week. It's okay. a good one, though. I can't wait. All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Annistown Kids Online Worship. Thank you for joining us again today. We're so happy to see you. I hope that you enjoyed this story about John the Baptist in the belly of Elizabeth and Mary going to visit her. I wanna talk about something so important in this story that we see in scripture. God had a plan for John the Baptist before he was even born. That plan was to prepare the way for Jesus so that others would know the Savior was coming to save them from their sins. I want you to see that even in this scripture, it shows us that maybe before we were all born, God has a plan for us. And it's our job to listen to that calling and fulfill God's plan that he has put on our lives. In this season of Christmas, it's really easy to get caught up with the presents and the decorations and family coming in town and all that stuff is so exciting and it's important. But we also want to remember that the most important part about Christmas is Jesus, the savior of the world, being born. And it's our job, just like John the Baptist was called to prepare the way, it's our job to tell others that Jesus was born on Christmas and that is what Christmas is all about. So we hope that you enjoyed this. We hope to see you next week for the next part of the story. Jesus loves you and so do we. Angels we have burned all night, sweetly singing o'er the flames, and the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous strain.
Bunking. Yeah.